It's really with great pleasure uh, that we're bringing uh, Algorand, Algorand founder, uh, Turing Award winner, and MIT professor Silvio McCauley to the show. He's going to share his thoughts around the state of the Algorand blockchain and major innovations coming down the road, um, including the implications of having a digital dollar like USDC uh, on Algorand. And then we're going to turn to Algorand CEO, Steve Kokinos, to discuss the trajectory of Algorand, the organization, the global community, the ecosystem, the industry, and use case uh, applications that are that are that we're seeing uh, for Algorand in 2020 and beyond, and really what's shaping up in this space. So uh, with that, we're very excited to welcome Silvio. Uh, it's great to see you. <laughs> Uh, great. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jeremy. Uh, great uh, to talk to you and your audience today. Excellent. Um, well, I, uh, I, I love to start with, um, you know, an origin story. And um, obviously, I, th I think people have, many people have followed your career uh, and your history, but maybe just for, for, for folks here who haven't, just very briefly, a little bit about your history and how you came to fall in love with crypto and, uh, and pursue uh, pursue Algorand. Oh, great! So I started you know, like um, um, a computational theorist, um, uh, proof systems, uh, logical uh, schemes, uh, and then uh, uh, have a long, uh, in long time interest in cryptography, and, um, and then uh, distributed computation, and then evolved into economic mechanisms. And so suddenly, somehow, finally, I heard about you know, crypto uh, in the sense of uh, not cryptography in my case, but the cryptocurrency. And says, oh, wow, that is really at the intersection of all these fields, cryptography and, uh, and uh, distributed computation and economic mechanism. That is a paradise. Let me learn about it. I started learning about it, and I confirmed that it was you know, a great idea. And, but somehow the solutions seem to me quite inelegant. And because somehow criticizing is always easy and constructing is a bit harder, I decided to, you know, to lock myself up for a few months and uh, try to see if I could uh, throw my hat in the arena and design things in a different way. 